Welcome to Mount Scopus. This is one of the spots where we can talk about one of the most dramatic moments of modern Jerusalem history. In 1967, Israeli troops are standing on this mountain and they're looking out at the old city of Jerusalem and they're preparing to attack the Jordanians. In 1948, in the War of Independence, Jordan conquers a large chunk of eastern Jerusalem. That includes the Old City and the Temple Mount, some of Judaism's most ancient and holy sites. And during that time under Jordanian rule, Jews are evicted from these areas. We can't come to the Old City. We can't come to the Kotel. Shoals are bombed. Our most, one of our most ancient Jewish cemeteries on Haraz 18, the Mount of Olives, is vandalized. And here, the Israeli paratroopers are standing in 1967, and they're looking out over the old city. And their colonel, Matagur, comes up and he says, we're standing here on the ridge looking out on the old city, the place where for generations we've yearned to come into it. And we'll be the first to go into it. We'll be the first to realize this dream. They go in straight to the old city, and after hours of intense battle, after many fatal casualties, and without use of any artillery in order to protect the holy sites, Israel prevails. Jerusalem is reunited. One of the most important and exciting moments in Jerusalem history is when the Israeli army broadcast radio yells out, Harabait Be'adenu, Harabait Be'adenu. Temple Mount is in our hands. The Temple Mount is in our hands. The Israeli soldiers walk down to the Western Wall for the first time in 19 years. The same place that 3,000 years ago we all gather for the dedication of the temple. And they pray. And the gratitude flows forth. I want to talk about another Shlomo. Not Shlomo Amerech, but Rev Shlomo Goren, the chief rabbi of the IDF, the Israel Defense Forces, who will later become the chief rabbi of Israel. Rev Shlomo Goren is fighting alongside the paratroopers to re- unite Jerusalem and with him he has his shofar ready to blow for the final victory. After the victory all of the soldiers are walking down the Temple Mount to the Western Wall and Rav Gorin is standing there looking up with tear-filled eyes just like Shlomo HaMelech thousands of years before him filled with gratitude to be able to be at the moment where Jerusalem is again, after 2,000 years of exile, reunited under Jewish-Israeli sovereignty. And from this space of gratitude and eyes filled with tears, he pours out his heart in tefillah, a prayer, a prayer that we all know. He leads the congregation, the soldiers, in Hallel. It's not his own unique made-up prayer. But this feeling that comes out, that bursts forth, is the same one that I would bet Shlomo Melech felt and Chana before him. The idea of witnessing complete salvation from Hashem, recognizing the miracle and being able to elevate and say, thank you. To this day, there are Jewish congregations around the world that still say Hallel every year on Jerusalem Day, Yom Yerushalayim, the day that Rabbi Shlomo witnesses and the whole nation, the reunification of Jerusalem after 2,000 years. Our day has been packed. We've started with Chana. We've heard about that personal prayer from a place of great gratitude. And we talked about Shlomo HaMelech and Rabbi Shlomo Goren, who stands here as a nation of Israel, again, witnessing Hashem, keeping the promise to bring the Jewish people home reuniting our holiest city, Jerusalem, under Jewish sovereignty. I guess in our own lives, we have to look around. What are the things that happen that I'm grateful for? Do I have that perspective of gratitude? And besides for just fixing and adding more to my community, to my home, perhaps there's a prayer that it births within me. What are the prayers of thanks that I give on a personal level and as a nation? What are the things that we say are halal for? And here, standing here, we have a place where Jewish people can come from all over the world, in simcha or in pain, and they unite in our, our birthplace, the land of Israel. And although it's not fully built, I can stand here too and say thank you Hashem for everything that our nation has received 
for thousands of years. And we can also pray and say, please, Hashem, rebuild Jerusalem in our day, in our time. Amen. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Hashem.